So this is the short version of our Christmas special with the Christmas Beetle von Ocknatus Müllery. You see I have a lot of material here and I want to go very fast so that it's not as long as the extended version. What I wanted to show you are the freshly emerged males of Fall Akronatus Müllery. I have three uh, new larvae from Taiwan with which I want to um, update the genes of my strains that I already have uh, in my breeding. So this is a beautiful big male of Falacrognatus Müllery from a new strain and I want to bring it together with some of the females of my, let's say, old strain so that I have um, not too much uh, inbreeding. So look at the size of this male is around 58 uh, millimeters. What I will do with him, of course, I will put him into a beautiful breeding box later but first I want to show you some of the of the freshly emerged um, females here I probably I, it's the best thing to put them on a piece of this watermelon so they are a little bit um, not so stressed to go to run around here females of Falacrodatus Milleri is all from the same strain um, so I put them together in one box so that I know um, from which strain I use these uh, ladies to breed with, with the males that I already have and um, you see they are not small, they are also pretty big it said that females only get to 35 millimeters, that's not true I have a lot of them here that are 40 millimeters and 39 and 38, 37 millimeters, that's not unusual if you look at this one here this is 37 already, this one uh, this lady here 37 millimeters already so they get uh, around 40 millimeters the big ones and um, of course and yeah, now you know why they are called Christmas beetle also because they really look like the glimmering Christmas balls on the Christmas tree the next thing uh, I want to show you is a poop ball of a male that's something uh, that shouldn't happen when you're breeding but um, it can happen sometimes that you think that uh, an adult has emerged already but um, when you open it you see oh it's only a, a poop ball and I want to show you one that is uh, probably hours or days before the emergence out of the uh, poop ball uh, cell uh, chamber or skin I, first I have to prepare it here a little bit so that it's, that this doesn't dry out too much when I present it under the microscope. Now here you see the typical pupa of a male of Falacrognatus um, Mulleri. As you see here, these are the mandibles that are not yet um, um, really stretched out because this is a very uh, a rare in uh, Lucanid beetles uh, that the animals spread their mandibles like uh, butterflies spread their wings also is, if you can see it here the forelegs they are not folded down to the body like with other um, Lucanid beetles but the forelegs they are also folded to the top um, under the or over uh, the mandibles also with Falacrognatus Mulleri and Lomprima is a little bit special that they don't uh, put their mandibles down before the body but they have it in the, in the, the right direction to the forefront that's uh, not uh, common with the other uh, beetles so what we do now here we just put it back as you see I, I put it into this uh, peat pot system and that's what I do now again I just put it back here and then into a box 
where I can, throw, can control the humidity a little bit so that it's not drying out during that process. And uh, we will see whether it, it can emerge uh, from that uh, uh, pupa in the next, let's say, two weeks. It should be uh, the case. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you have uh, your Christmas too with Falokrnotus Milleri very soon. In the next video, uh, I want to show you how I prepare the mating boxes uh, for Falokrnotus Milleri, uh, just to have the first contact between males and females in an interesting surrounding for the beetles. Uh, so that's what's next up to here in my uh, beetle breeding channel. Thanks for subscribing. Have a nice Christmas.